Hi, you're watching the Chuck Fleetwood Smiths, and I'm Ebony Jewel, Cora Lee, Camellia, Rosamond and Rainford Brent. And I know a lot about names, they're a bit of a mouthful. You're watching the Chuck Fleetwood Smiths. It's almost time to take Canadian bacon out of your diet. Chuck Fleetwood Smiths, coming to you from the 35th game of this World Cup, Canada versus Australia, live from the Maple Leaf Pub. So 19 for the loss. The Australians have decided to take Paddy Parfley. So we're 35 games into this World Cup. Is that all? Uh, and uh, and it's it's only just starting to matter. England, at the time we're filming this, England play West Indies tomorrow. They could be out of the tournament by this stage. We're going to assume they go through. He's out! He's out! It's a run out, mate. He's absolutely correct. And England, can you fucking believe it, have won the match. So, what's happened this week? South Africa have been the big story this week, really. Why? What have they done? Well, they beat India. No, they played very well. They played very well. So does that mean they're not chokers? No. I mean, Why they not? didn't choke in their game, does not it? Yeah. I mean, I, I agree with you, the choker label, I don't think they're chokers, but to, for it to they matter, are. they would have to be in, a, in the ascendancy, do you know, which yeah, they weren't they were. necessarily. Which, so. which might actually also tell you something about South African cricket, that if they're not in a position where they think they can win, they will keep fighting. Obviously, when they get in a position where they win, that might be when they have their problems. What is the difference between Kamran Akmal and Michael Jackson? Because those wear the uh, gloves. And what was the turning point of the match? You don't have to it answer is. the first bit. No, no, I'll answer that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the difference between them is one is dead. What I said, I said a couple of weeks ago, I think India by like England are the, are the same. I think that their, their chances of going far in this tournament depend on chasing targets. I think they've got great batting on up India, but they've got a bat second. Really? Then, you might be right, you might be right. I mean, it's probably too early to tell that because we haven't seen them bat second enough, have we? Against a good quality team. No, but we have seen that their bowling attack doesn't do it. Yeah. Quite enjoyed um, Dhoni having a go at his own batsman. And the crowd. And the crowd. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I, I respect that. I respect anyone who can have a go at the crowd because, as we know, crowds are all arseholes. But what about his tactics with uh, Chawla against England and then Neyra bowling the last over against uh, South Africa? That was a major mistake. Was it? I mean, I don't think there was anyone in the world who didn't go, really? And the thing about Dhoni, and the thing I really like about him, is he backs himself. But that doesn't mean he doesn't make mistakes. It means, <laughs> I mean, that was a clear mistake. Everyone in the world thought Bajji was going to bowl that last over and thought that in that case, South Africa were going to struggle. And instead you bring on Neyra. Who, who's a confident man, but he's he's one of those. He's like the guy in the pub who's quite confident. He's going to pick up, even though everyone else is looking at him, going, "Really?" Well done! Short Akhtar! Wow, look at you, you're looking great! So what about Australia? Just just bowled Canada out for 211 after being smashed around by a 19-year-old. It's quite enjoyable. A, a 19-year-old with one shot. <laughs> the bowling attack, which is supposed to be their main suit, has just looked rusty, hasn't it? And they haven't actually batted. They went between the 25th of February and the 13th of March without batting in this tournament, which is yeah. I mean, I don't. Yeah, I suppose it's it's. it's Two different months, so it's impressive that you that you no, looked at that. No, I know what you 60. mean because it's a sort of bowling attack that could go for 380 and could bowl India for 150. Yeah, I mean that's that's the sort of bowling attack it is. There are there are days that Saywag's going to carve it apart, and other days where we saw what Stain did to the Indian middle order and late order. I mean, Australia have got three guys of that pace, maybe no one of that quality, but three guys in that pace, anything could happen with them. They've got to get rid of Smith. They've got to bring David Hussey back in, but other than that. 
Yeah, I, they've used the squad system well, Australia as well. Yeah, but they have Jert Nannis over there as their, you know, their 16th man in case anyone gets injured. Look, I mean, I, I don't know how they're going to go against the real team, and I, I would have hoped for them, for their sake, that Sri Lanka would have beaten them, but you'll never know. Excuse me, this is from Elton John. Time to dip back into the cricket archives now with a trip to 97 for something that is genuinely, seriously awesome. Here comes Jones to Otapa now. Jones with the delivery, he's edged and... Oh! <laughs> Seriously! No way! No way, he did not... Look at the size of him! He's gigantic, he's like two or three players in one go! Yeah, you look... Seriously, that guy looks horrified. There, he's not, there's not enough people. Oh, there he is. Oh, wow. No way that guy could pick him up. Unbelievable stuff. And she points to her jugs to say... Unbelievable! I've got boobs! He has taken the catch. Let's see this slow motion again. That is just thick outside edge. Goes away. No, no. What? 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 And his hat fell off! It is like the perfect slapstick. You, honestly, you could literally watch cricket for, I don't know, the first seven balls of an innings and never see something as awesome as that again. And Jones, in his first ever international game, he's, he's in tears. He's literally in tears. He thinks this is so funny. He is crying. Join us again next time when we'll be casting a weather eye over the David Gow roasting video. And all you can hear in the background is Jared sizzling solo and state. One team who haven't been sizzling this tournament is England. Their ineptitude has been the big story of this World Cup. Good signal. Uh, the loss against Bangladesh is classic England. It's got everybody bitching. Swanee against the umpires. The press. Bob Willis against Jonathan Trotter. Everyone's, Everyone's retiring. Don't Everyone's it. retiring. Someone is sort of sick. Some strands have got ill, but well, I'm probably, I, I don't know, not stick to your cheese toasties, lads, or maybe a sizzling sirloin, but it's just been a horror show. Yeah, I, I don't think they want to be there. No. I think, I, I think when you can bring everything back to that, whether they're good enough or not, who knows, but I don't think they want to be there at the moment. Ten words describe England's World Cup so far. Uh, schizophrenic, a Jekyll and Hyde, I think that's two words. Exciting, nerve-wracking, edge of the seat, that's nine. Brilliant. Now it's time for the Zoltan Zerwani a moment of this week. Who's your Zoltan? I'm going for Swanee against Bangladesh, just because I thought losing the plot at that stage uh, it reeked of panic and I think it transmitted to the rest of the England side. It was it was amazing strop. I'm gonna go with Australia against Kenya who basically tried to play out the game and give their bowlers some uh, practice. But then when it got to the end, they decided not to let Collins O'Boya make 100 and left him stranded on 98. That, that takes a special kind of arsehole. Winning the World Cup? Sweet. 